says, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. The part that I really love about that verse is being understood by the things that are made, and it skips down, so that they are without excuse. And they're talking about unbelievers, and they're talking about, in verse 18, they talk about um, the wrath of God being revealed to the ungodly. Um, uh, through unrighteousness and uh, they, those who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. So I think it's a really sick verse because it, it literally says they have no excuse. Being seen, being understood by the things that are made. So I'll read it for you. Um, and uh, um, um, and, and I'll get really excited when so feel free to, to yell or something if, if you like. Um, shown by the very stars in the sky and the leaves that grow up on high and the movement of man shows only shows that Jesus sorry, shows shows that Jesus only can span a whole galaxy and still had a plan, understood by what is made, understanding that it will fade on display like a parade, but all just a charade. As we make way for the new heaven and the new earth, I find my possessions of no worth, having been clearly seen since the beginning of time, not capable of being described with a rhyme. In all the glory of the skies and every day in the sunrise, I look to the horizon and see that ball of fire rising in the most beautiful display, greater than the most gorgeous bouquet, to find nature and eternal power manifested deeply in one tiny flower, and in the things undiscovered and yet to be seen is where I find myself most serene, all creation overwhelmingly screaming out from the bottom to the top of every mountain. And if we don't cry out, then the rocks will, unable to stand still as we fill this place with the shouts and the praises and the joy of our Father, our God, our Savior, made new since the beginning of time, promises to us with the sublime, even his eternal Godhead and power, shower over us, and even in his darkest hour, he prays the Father. So we are without excuse, with his invisible attributes being clearly seen and making us clean. And understood by the things that are made, his love comes to us displayed. Yeah.